Kenya. Kenyan 2022 elections, the first when ethnicity took the back seat. The Kenyan general elections on August 9, 2022 were the first elections when ethnicity was not a determining factor. When the current president, Uhuru Kenyatta, was first elected in 2013, his tribe, the Kikuyus, who make up 20% of the Kenyan population, were to a large measure the reason he assumed office. This is because, as pointed out by the East African newspaper, quote, in some past elections, communities sided with each other to support a candidate as politics and power determine distribution of resources and receipt of other state goodies, unquote. Today, Kenyans are voting with their pocketbooks. For instance, presidential candidate William Ruto's economic campaign slogan of bottom up and economic freedom resonated with low income earners because Kenya is moving away from an agrarian economy. By the same token, Ruto won the lion's share of the vote in central Kenya whose population is mainly comprised of the Kikuyu ethnic group, despite his opponent, Raila Odinga, being supported by President Kenyatta, who is Kikuyu. Moy University professor Yaga Kendiki observed that, quote, Kenyans now don't care much who will be president, but want opportunity to do business, unquote. Kendiki astutely added, quote, the ordinary citizens are suffering, and for economic freedom, tribe does not matter. People want to form a society where they are business partners, and the only language that matters is business." Unquote. South Africa. South Africa must import physician and nursing specialists. Due to a lack of physician and nursing specialists, in the public health sector, South Africa will have to import people who work in these fields. Physician specialists in 30 fields, including dentistry, anesthesiology, pathology, obstetrics, and gynecology, are currently underrepresented in South Africa, according to the Mercury newspaper. Likewise, Nursing specialists in five fields, including pediatrics, intensive care, and trauma care, are in short supply. Health Professions Council of South Africa spokesman Christopher Sasawani blames the government for not keeping up with demand. According to Sasawani, quote, training institutions have not increased their capacity to produce specialists in line with the population growth. We also lack the right infrastructure for training advanced specialists, unquote. Similarly, Democratic Nursing Organization of South Africa spokesman Sibong Yisine Delilazo said that the government has neglected the nursing profession for a long time. Delilazo observed that despite the World Health Organization forecasting a need for all nations to produce 8% more nurses each year in 2020, the number of nurses South Africa produces each year declines. Mali. Mali informs Germany of new method of obtaining flyover permission. On Friday, August 12, 2022, Malian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdullaye Diop, informed the German government that obtaining flyover permission in Malian airspace must be done through the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, MINUSMA. This statement was made during a meeting attended by Diop and German ambassador to Mali, Dietrich Pohl, among others, according to Mali Act 2 newspaper. German Defense Minister Christine Lambrecht said on Friday that Germany decided to suspend most of its operations in Mali because it was not granted flyover permission by the Malian junta. Diop said this was, quote, 
false information, unquote, and that there is, quote, a new mechanism for approving contingent rotations following the coordination meeting held on August 1st, 2022 with the United Nations mission, unquote.